about set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. First down, going to the air with Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that. That would have been a good play, but he could not pull it in. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hand. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. To throw now. Here's Love. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. at the line this Philly offense set to go Charles it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going offensively virtually nothing in the ground attack either so certainly something has to change here in quarter three and I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys the stop troops they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game now they got some time the running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. But first down, Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Now they try the right side here. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second down. Here's Hurts. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 17-yard line. Give them 18 on the play. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. He's got his big tight end fan. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A lot of more yards that go around. A first down as well. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, it moves right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. 
And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from inside the five. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles! Today's got his first touchdown of the new season. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. Elliott good with a PAT. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. You've got to know as a quarterback that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position, and he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gun, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Blitz by Antoine Winfield, Jr. And the Packers are going to have it here at their own 15. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Love. His throw incomplete. And his drive is almost over before it began. It's a great defensive effort. He sat down his throw. Tied by the incompletion. One more good one. And they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Love from the gun. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott good on the extra point. And now the kick is away. 
But from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here, and sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Here's a give to Jones running left. Oh, what a move. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now a handoff looking right. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now Love. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hill. We've seen it too. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Desperation time here. Love on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and 10. Now quickly out wide, this is Watson. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. This second and four. Going back to love. have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. No problem there on the extra point, and that gives them a three-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked up by Jair Alexander, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. 
Well, he exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. And that one was picked off. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he is going to lose yardage here. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Second and 11. Throwing. Love. Over the middle, it's complete. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has a good inning space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, the close down in front and held him to a short game. They'll come up now, third and three. Love now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route? Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Love now to pass on first down. Rush coming and he's taken down. Josh Schmidt rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. In motion left, that's Reed. The slot man in motion right. That sets up a better for the come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. To pass. Here's Jordan Love. That's to the sideline and incomplete. He's had a season time here because the front man keeps it a one score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, you take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. On a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. at the line this Philly offense set to go and that last turnover could have proven more costly but their defense only gave up three but now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive they need to try and find the end zone and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 they'll throw on first down it hurts 
Ball will complete down the field to Smith. And a crossover out of bounds right at the 25. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. This is Fant on the short completion. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. up to throw it. And he will find his man on the outside. They try some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Well, this feels like a late season game, even though it's just week two. Here's a big third down. are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Great, 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 great. They'll try to run this one in. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Brady this touchdown. Effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Eagles are an extra point away from going back on team. And the fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. This is first and ten. Love. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and ten. Love looking to throw it.
Here's Love. That's complete to Wicks. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 23. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Love looking to throw. Lowry caught downfield by Watson. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. They'll try again here, second and ten. That quickly outside, and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. Late game, down on the scoreboard, had to feel they're expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now Love. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL <laughs> moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared and stay on your feet defensively and tackle someone. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end on that last.